Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do your February the 5th spiritual principle a day in a meditation. If you need to reach me, you can do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com or just leave a message or comment down below and I will respond as soon as, soon as I see it. Okay, it looks like a tongue-tied morning, but let's go ahead and get into the meditation regardless. See what we have here. All right, the title. Harmony and our common good. We can come to these relationships in a spirit of harmony and love or from a place of suspicion and fear. That's taken from Guiding Principles, Tradition 12, in service. In any society, including Narcotics Anonymous, there's a natural tension between addressing the common good and getting our individual needs met. That tension may be more pronounced in a society made up of addicts who are trying to stay clean. We each live at the center of our own world, each with our own intricate history and collection of uniquely expressed defects of character and assets too, lest we forget. The delivery of our NA message of hope depends in part upon the relationships that we create, nurture, and sustain among us. This is an extraordinary and sublimely, sublimely beautiful challenge. I like that. Unity takes up this challenge for the common good of NA. This means we prioritize carrying the NA message over our individual desires and our personal opinions of other members. We commit to the conscious action of coming together for a common cause. We serve with members we dislike or have valid cause to distrust, as well as those we find appealing and trustworthy. Note to self, come back to that. <laughs> Harmony is the recognition and appreciation that there's reverence and beauty in facing the challenges to unity. It's what we mean when we say, I get to practice unity instead of I have to, or we don't practice it and we run the risk of alienating our fellows. Harmony emerges when we practice unity despite our differences. And we try to do this with a sense of serenity and peacefulness. It's the essence of we don't have to like each other to work together, but we have to love each other. In service, conflicts sometimes arise. Aggression and retreat are absolutely natural reactions in the face of conflict, but they don't solve it. It takes effort to practice the principles of love, compassion, and understanding in harmony with unity, responsibility, and interdependence. I will look for opportunities, especially in service work, where I can bring a spirit of harmony to my relationships. I get to do this. I get to. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you.